I want to show you a neat dulcimer. This was built in 1999 by Jerry Rockwell of Guysville, Ohio. There is no six and a half fret here. So you've got open one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I know a lot of people string up their dulcimers so they can go um, from DAA to DAD. And most of the time nowadays we're in DAD. But when you tune that melody string down from a D down to an A for DAA, that's a floppy string. It's wimpy to me. It's easy to fret too hard and knock it out of tune. I strung this dulcimer up for DAA. And I discovered a lot of neat things. So on my bass, I have a 26. It's a little heavier than what some people use. And then I have 16s on the other, on the middle and the melody. And that's a little heavier, certainly for the melody string. I can't even tune the melody up to a D, so I cannot put this dulcimer in DAD. Uh, the melody string will break. But the payoff is the DAA sounds cool, beautiful, powerful, in tune. And uh, sometimes I think DAA gets a bad rap just because people are playing in DAA with a wimpy melody string. You put a good one on yeah, you put a good one on there, and it's a, it's a whole other world. So let me finger pick for you a little bit. I also like using a pick. Uh, Jerry Rockwell showed me this. He'll take a triangle pick and cut it in, in uh, thirds or halves. It gives you a very light sound. This is uh, an arrangement I first got off of Larkin O'Brien. I think it sounds rich to have the right gauge on there. And uh, I've been playing in DAA a lot, but I also discovered uh, some other things that are pretty cool. Uh, there's dropping the melody string down to a G. Take that melody back up.
Jerry suggested I try this. I'm going to take the bass down to an A. And it works especially well because I'm using slightly higher gauges. So now we're in AAA. Um, I like to use harp scales a lot, so instead of playing all the notes on one string, I can bounce back and forth between the middle and the melody. They're both A's open. Um, so instead of O, one, two, three, four on the melody, I'll do O on the melody, one on the middle, two on the melody, three on the middle, four on the melody. And it gives this kind of blurry, impressionistic quality. Uh, the pick, it sounds pretty cool with the pick. <laughs> 